breaking news, a mass shooting at a casino complex. This is the moment you see on your screen law enforcement rushing inside after three people were shot by a gunman. Two were killed. Attention all Green Bay units, just for your 43, we have a possible active shooter at the United Casino 2100 Airport Drive. Officers, shots fired, shots fired. Suspect is down. We have not confirmed yet. Chilling. The suspect was killed with a shootout with police, and that's what you were hearing with the shots fired. This all happened inside a restaurant right next to the Adido Casino in Ashwaubenon. We're learning more about the gunman's actions. Our Tony Atkins has the latest. Deputies here in Brown County anticipate a lengthy investigation as they work to learn more about a deadly shooting that left two people killed and one other person seriously injured. The gunman also shot and killed by police. The confrontation happened inside the Duck Creek Kitchen and Bar, which is within the Oneida Casino. Here is some video we got a hold of shortly after the shooting. You can see officers rushing inside to aid the victims and witnesses. I learned the gunman did have an intended target, an employee at the restaurant who was not there. Deputies say then that would-be victim's friends were targeted. He then uh, shot two of the co-workers' friends that are also deceased. Deputies say two of the victims were shot inside the building. Another victim was shot outside. Deputies also say that the suspect was shot and killed by police outside the casino area as well. It's unclear exactly which agency was responsible for the shooting, but the one thing we do know right now is that it will be a long, emotional few days ahead for many families. Reporting in Green Bay, Tony Atkins, TMJ4 News. And that one victim who did survive that was shot was airlifted all the way from Brown County to Freighted Hospital. And we're told that that person has serious injuries. No officers were hurt in all of this. And Governor Tony Evers released a statement overnight. This is just new that he writes in part. We are all waiting for more information. We hope and pray that those who were injured will recover and are grateful for the first responders who quickly responded to the situation.